let's pitch History Channel. Uh, you have some unscripted ideas, I assume. Uh, well, let me tell you, that's what they're looking for. So History Channel is all about captivating their audience with both past and present narratives that delve deep into the essence of what shapes our world. Uh, here's what they're particularly excited about. Get it even. Uh, closed close ended formats. Um, they're big on series that have a clear end in sight. So they like it to be tense, story driven, story driven showcases featuring celebrity narrations like history's greatest heists uh, with Pierce Brosnan uh, or present tense, talent driven, deep dives into lesser known stories or artifacts. Hmm. Uh, art, factual and transactional. Uh, moving beyond familiar formats like Pawn Stars, they're searching for shows that are of a grander scale. Uh, think major items on significant historical logistics. Um, <clears throat> fresh takes on motor history, nostalgic items that evoke a strong sense of the past. Uh, so things, they like uh, interesting stuff like that. Artifactual. <laughs> That's a word. Um, mystery and investigation. There's a strong appetite. <laughs> I can't speak today. There's a strong appetite for series that actively investigate historical or iconic mysteries. Of course, places like Oak Island, uh, Bermuda Triangle, unexplained phenomenon, uh, phenomena that uh, remain beyond our understanding. History wants in on that paranormal stuff, guys. Um, <clears throat> especially if there's a historic tie-in. Uh, special theme nights. Oh, so uh, like Friday nights, they want to build um, their current lineup with new formats that might include direct storytelling about monsters, paranormal entries that might appear to be, uh, might appeal to a more male audience uh, um, or natural world enigma kind of audience, whatever that means. Uh, natural world enigmas, stuff like that for dudes, I guess. Uh, Friday, um, Thursday nights that focus here, that is for unique outdoor adventures, um, exploring specific subcultures, complementing shows like Alone and Swamp People. I used to edit for Swamp People. Um, <clears throat> a lot of alligators died in that show. Though. Anyway, cultural nostalgia. There's a particular interest in pop culture from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, but they're looking for narratives that offer a unique angle or fresh perspective rather than just recounting well-known history. So, if any of that sounds like um, it's got your ideas churning out, if you've got new ideas, you should pitch me and we will pitch it together, as always. Uh, I offer that to you because I want to work with you and I want to get a show made. Come on, guys. I've got some great people I want to pitch for history. Okay, next.